Hey Katie, we're about to get started. We've got Miss Renergy as our surrogate this morning, so this is going to be awesome. Let's get into it and find you some solutions. Okay, recentering. It's been a very busy morning. <laughs> oh, I'm already out. Which one won? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so. Okay. We're looking for solutions for Katie. I figured we'd start with some NOT face down so that we can at least get some structure going on in there. And I'll ask in relation to chronic pain as well. Okay, I'm all for it, so Katie. Okay, just think Katie. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Next out. Yeah, okay. So, so it's the left side. The atlas is jutted out. Okay, breathe in. And out. And breathe in. And out. And breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, so that's interesting. So now it's actually oscillating at the sacrum. So the left shoulder leg has gone, but now the sacrum's twisting, which means we've now we've got to connect the occiput to the sacrum. Get those little guys working in tandem. Okay, and hold up for me. That's good. And hold up for me. And hold up for me. Beautiful. Okay, so in relation to chronic right leg pain. And hold up for me. And hold up for me. And hold up for me. Okay, so it's not too bad from this perspective. There's going to be lots of perspectives. But the occiput and the sacrum, not communicating 100%. And, you know, in the bioresonance uh, that we did last night, or the night before, you know, there was a lot of occipital sacral, sacral congestion going on in there. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, in relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, in relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, in relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open. Relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open. Relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. And hold. And hold. Okay. In relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. In relation to releasing any and all chronic pain. to stress and stress hormones and hold stress and stress hormones stress and stress hormones and hold pain and pain hormones of pain and pain hormones. In 
finish with tiny, tiny fingers and hold. Okay, let's check your issue with tuberosities. These are your sitting bones and hold. Okay, eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. And hold. And hold. Okay. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open, releasing any and all chronic pain. And hold. Okay, so the tailbone. And hold up for me, that was okay. And hold up for me, that was okay. And hold up for me. Ah, okay. So round at the jaw. So the dura was actually mostly okay until we hit the jaw, which means it's sort of jammed um, all the way to the tip of the skull, but then it's jamming down here at the jaw. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open. In relation to chronic pain. Eyes open, eyes closed, it's dark, eyes open. In relation to chronic pain. I don't know if you've got one, Katie, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a hold of a vibrating massager. You know, this, like, something like this, there's lots of them around. But basically, because you can actually work on those nerves in the lower back, and I know you've got all sorts of skills going on, but if you can actually start to wake up the nerves uh, from the sacrum and even like gently on the tailbone and you can even use it in those areas like the sitting bone so that the nerves start going down through the legs a bit more easily and of course when you're in pain being able to use that you know just because vibration helps to move cellular energy so it's uh, just something to think about getting a hold of so this one's called Dr. Graham's it's a Dr. Graham's massager but there's lots of them around. This one's about a hundred bucks Australian. And if you're a practitioner, there's also one with four, uh, there's also one with four knobs on the base as well. Have you used it, Renergy? No, I'd love to try one. I think you only just got them ordered in uh, So we'll pull it out of the box. I was at my Kairos the other, other day and he used it and it felt amazing down here. Oh, so I said to him, I'll have to show Renergy. Yeah. It is a bit heavier. Though. Yeah, so I'll have to get Jada to um, do some magic there. That's what we'll do. Because I love that one being up on the wall, it's so convenient. Mm -hmm. So see this one, Renergy? Yeah. So this one's got four on it. This one's about 180 bucks Australian or 185 or something. It doesn't sound as, as loud as I thought. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. So this one, it's, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he just used it over that sacrum, which just felt oh, amazing. Yeah. I can feel that all the way down to my knees. Yeah, right. Renergy can feel that all the way down to her knees, Katie. And because it's sort of um, like these are designed, you know, different frequencies of vibrations, like have different healing capabilities. And this guy spent 30 years researching vibration. So he believes that this just has an incredible healing power on the body. Nonetheless, we know there's going to be emotional gear stacked, stored in with you, but I just thought I'd just show those. Anyway, I love them. <laughs> well worth 
well worth it, you know, to have those in your home. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, so... So there was a pain and punishment circuit a second ago, so any and all pain and punishment circuitries. And hold. And the jaw often holds all sorts of stuff in there. So I'm going to use the centering mechanisms with the jaw. And hold. Oh, they're okay. Centering mechanisms with the tailbone. Hold. Oh, that's okay. Centering mechanisms with the sphenoid bone and hold beautiful okay so now we're going to go into the spinal respiratory fault and hold that's pretty good let's just ask in relation to any and all fear threat dangers and hold yeah okay so generally it's really, really good until fear starts setting in and that just compresses those rib bones. And the neck. Yeah, right, that one. Okay. So there's some tenderness through that mid, mid spine. which can just gently pull the little bones out of position. So just gently, oh yeah, you felt that one? Okay, any and all fear threat dangers. And hold, beautiful. Let's check cardiac back while we're here, hold. That one's okay. Cardiac plus spinal respiratory, hold. No, that's okay, good. Uh, the scoliosis on the right, hold, scoliosis on the left, and hold, no, that's okay. Okay, oh, now because there's leg stuff, let's check a few of these lower body muscles as well. So knees together, so lift the leg, let the leg fall out, don't let me lift that leg, hold, okay. So on the right, it's just not locking. Hold down on the left. The left is locking. So yeah, so there's a, in, in here, we're just not getting that innervation of the nerves down through the legs. That nearly always comes from that lower back. You know, besides spirit, emotional, other sort of things, but from a physical perspective. And often the tailbone is involved along with those centering points. And again, hold down, beautiful. Okay, so that activated nicely. Next one I wanna do, I think is hold there. I think this is Iliacus, hold, I'm coming down and out. It might be Gracilis. And relax, that's it. Hold, I'm going down and out. No, that one's good. Then we're gonna check the glutes. So lifting. Hold up, don't let me push down. That's pretty good. And this one, hold up, don't let me push down. No, so no problem there. There'll be lots more muscles when we turn you over, but um, that one deep inside the groin that hasn't been helping that right leg. So that's good to know that one's back up and running. So, okay, so we'll turn you over now. We'll go back, we'll come in for uh, the face up NOT to start with.